It's time to tweet to the beat. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET update. Twitter is about to launch its own music app. As of Friday afternoon, the site music.twitter.com was up but not active. But Ryan Seacrest got an invite. He's tweeted about how he's been testing it out and loving it. CNET was first to report on Twitter working on a music app that would suggest artists and songs to listen to based on different things, like the accounts you follow or artists that are trending. Looks like Twitter might want to launch this during the Coachella Music and Arts Festival in California. Stay tuned for updates on that. The Facebook home interface came out Friday, but only a few of the newest Android phones can get it. However, Facebook updated its Messenger app on Android to give everyone access to the chat heads feature. Once installed, if a friend sends a text or Facebook message, a circle with their head will pop up and float on your screen, reminding you to get back to them. That is, until you remove it. Some of the latest gadgets were on display at the Digital Focus Technology Showcase in New York. You may have heard about the Nest Smart Thermostat, but Honeywell is also coming out with an advanced connected system for the home called the Wi-Fi Smart Thermostat. It has the connected features you expect, like being able to change the temperature and set timers from an app. It also sends alerts when the environment changes greatly or if it's time to change the filter. It learns how long it takes to heat or cool the home so it's ready when you wake up or arrive from work. And you can set the screen color to match your home decor. It comes out in May for $250, same price as the Nest thermostat, and it'll be sold at Home Depot. Also making an appearance at the show was the Link Case, a case for your smartphone that has a built-in antenna to boost your Wi-Fi connection signal by up to 50%. It doesn't mean you'll have a faster connection, just that the connection's stronger when on Wi-Fi. It costs $50, comes in multiple colors, and right now it's only for the iPhone 5, but the company is making it for the Galaxy S4 and the iPhone iPad, and I'm told they're looking into ways a case can boost cellular signals. Now that would be helpful if it ever happens. Duracell showed off a new iPhone 5 wireless charging station and case, which has a backup battery that you can snap onto the back for extra juice. There's a new smart tag coming out from iFi Systems that keeps track of your phone and other items. An alarm will go off if this tag gets too far from the phone, and it serves as a pager if you can't find your phone or your keys. The company now has separate versions for Android and Apple devices. But in two months, one silver version is coming out that works on both, costing $30. That's your tech news update. You can find more details on these stories at CNET.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.